Uh, Fannie Willis, what a fiasco. Maybe she had a relationship with Mr. Wade. Well, I don't think they were um, just sleeping between those hours, John. But um, uh, so on this past Friday on March 1st, Judge McAfee heard closing arguments from each side in this ethics uh, case against Fannie Willis. And at the hearing, you had the prosecution argue that there was no actual conflict here between Nathan Wade. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check Fanny Willis challenged by Courtney Kramer for DA office. So let's give it a try. So everyone this week has been talking about how Judge McAfee, who's in charge of overseeing that Fonny Willis court case, how he is up for election and there's a, another candidate trying out for his space. That's not the big news. And the big news has been passed up. The big news is that Fonny Willis has two people vying for her seat, one a Democrat and one a Trump Republican. We're going to show you these other candidates who could end okay. her career, no matter how this court case goes. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. And of course, I love that you guys are subscribing and getting us above that 450,000 mark is our next big goal. So thank you guys for watching. Okay, this is from Just the News, Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis. And the judge in Trump 2020 election case both face primary challengers. Mm. So this is about how corrupt is Fulton County and what will you do? Because either the corrupt people in Fulton are going to say, we have to get rid of this Judge McAfee guy. He's a good guy. Or they're going to say, we have to protect Fonnie Willis and reelect her at all costs. Guys, elections have consequences. What will you people do in Fulton County, Georgia? You can tell me in the comments below what you're hearing on the ground. Both Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee, who is overseeing the 2020 election case against former President Donald Trump, are facing primary challengers in their respective races this year. In her May primary election, Willis is facing a Democrat challenger, attorney Christian Wise Smith. Now, hey, if you believe that the serious. corruption goes all the way through the Democrat Party, which I believe it is, then it doing Miss Christian Wise Smith might be a minor improvement. It doesn't fix what's wrong with Fulton County or with Georgia, guys. You got to get some Republicans to properly face the Democrat corruption. Hmm. But she ran against Fannie Willis already in 2020, uh, according to the Associated Press, and lost to Fannie Willis. The only Republican candidate running in the district attorney's race is Courtney Kramer. I'm very excited about her, mm. who said she is an intern for three months in 2018 in the White House Counsel's office under Trump. Here's a clip of Courtney Kramer just so you can get a look at her. Uh, Fannie Willis, what a fiasco. Maybe she had a relationship with Mr. Wade. Well, I don't think they were um, just sleeping between those hours, John, but... Um, uh, so on this past Friday on March 1st, Judge McAfee heard closing arguments from each side in this ethics uh, case against Fonnie Willis. And at the hearing, you had the prosecution argue that there was no actual conflict here between Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis. Here she is with Donald Trump Jr. Oh, and here's the Twitter feed from Phil Holloway's is breaking attorney Courtney Kramer. Uh, her Twitter is at Supreme underscore court one has qualified to run for Fulton DA in the challenge to Fonnie Willis. Yes. Kramer pledges, get this is the big thing, guys. What do you want your district attorney to work on? This is where we find out if you're honest or not. What do you want? Kramer pledges to focus on the Atlanta crime crisis, violent crime, human trafficking, organized retail theft, that's smash yeah. and grab. Anyone want to do something about that in Fulton County? <laughs> do not vote for a Democrat. Mm. This is where we find out who's who in the zoo, okay? Things that matter most to Fulton County residents. That's saying that you can do what she's been doing. You can um, get away with taking money out of your campaign finance account. You can have an appearance of a conflict. You can hire your lover. So I really don't think Judge McAfee wants to set that standard going forward. But I do think that in that order, we are going to see if there is just the need for an appearance of a conflict or if there's a need for an actual conflict in this situation. Willis said on Wednesday, I've said it before, being the district attorney of Fulton County is the greatest honor of my entire life. I love the community. 
It's my home. It's where I raised my children. It's where I want to keep safe. It's where I try to destroy Miss Timpson's career. It's where I use your public dollars to go to the Caribbean with Nathan Wade. This is corrupt, guys. This is funny. I agree with you. I, very to corrupt. me, that case is now completely tainted. And not to mention, let's just, from a logistical standpoint, her being a lawyer in and of itself is, is problematic. With everything we heard during this testimony, and as a lawyer myself, it's disgusting to see her not follow her rules of professional conduct or yeah. take her oath of office seriously. Yeah. What do you guys think of this fresh new face? We're going to keep showing you clips of her and following this election. So the next two weeks are going to be very telling here in Fulton County. And we'll check in on McAfee, too. But this is the big news. Who is going to do the right thing with Fonnie Willis's job? I think it's going to be Courtney Kramer. I'm Doug in exile. Kramer really has promises. She, she really made a lot of promises that she's going to do about the human trafficking, about uh, violent crime, about different crises. I feel like Kramer has good vision for Fulton County. And I feel like she, she's really, really suitable for that post. Because we have tested Democrats and Democrats is not suitable. Fanny Willis have embezzled. She will hire a lover to come work in the post. She, Fanny Willis have a lot of issues. A lot of issues. And she's not showing us who she really is. She's have embezzled a lot of funds. She's just posing as someone else. Whereas... She's doing a lot of things behind. And the truth is coming out. It's coming out. It's revealing itself about Fanny Willis, who she really is to the crowd. I feel like we should follow the Republicans who should vote for Kramer because she really has promises. She sees for the future. She actually worked for Trump. And I feel like she's better suited for, for the post. So I, I feel like our vote should go to her. I'm supporting her. And... Seeing her for the first time and seeing how she speak on how she's really eager to want to work for the people, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm happy. I feel like she's promising. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all